And that's enough of theory for today. Now, here's the fun part. I am going to let you guys create your own different experiments based on what you've learned so far. But this assignment will count towards your final grade in chemistry. But still, try to have fun, okay? And don't burn the classroom down. After all, safety is our number one priority. So, go to the back of the class, get your lab coats and apparatus. <laughs> Trev? Good job. Experiments. What if the beakers blow up and I burn myself? <sighs> what is it now, Trev? Uh, Miss Shirley, my mom said that I'm allergic to uh, phenophylline, uh, thermophylline, uh, chrysophylline, uh, trampoline, you know, all these kind of chemicals. I don't think I should be participating in this. I'm, I'm just gonna see it out. <laughs> you know what's funny, Trev? I also happen to be allergic to students who give bad excuses. So just help me out here and do your work, okay? Nicole, shouldn't you wait for it to cool down first? Or wear some glove at least? It's not that hot. See? Ow, 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 ow. Now you try. Anyone hungry? I'll have some. And how would you like your eggs done? Fertilized. Okay, all plants require 17 essential elements for growth. If I can include a few more elements outside of the essentials, I might be able to reverse the decomposition process. Hey, um, I need that. Thank you. Hey, you want to work together or something? I can't figure out what to do with this Bunsen burner other than burning things. You know they'll always help you, right? But I can't break my train of thought right now. Why don't you get started on your experiment first and you can show me when you're done? <sighs> well, I guess I could figure something out. I'm sure you'll do something great. Now back to my phytopathology study. Just help! After what you did the last time, you're still trying to burn things down? Don't you remember? You got bent on the Bunsen burner. Then what am I going to do for the rest of the class? Something not related to fire, okay? Maybe like a liquid-based experiment or something. Pretty sure you can burn anything with that. Fine. Liquid-based. So, Mary, what experiment are you going to be doing? Hmm, I don't know. I'm still thinking about it. Science is not really my thing. Alright then. How about I just answer this? <laughs> oh, okay then. Uh, uh, okay, maybe I don't ask Denise. I'll just ask a um, uh, uh, Trev. <laughs> uh, never mind. I'll just ask you now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so what are you making? I have created this crystal. Why did you make that in such a short time? Well, it did come with this box. Ah, ah yes, that makes sense. Anyway, it's still pretty impressive, right? I'm going to show it to Denise. Hey, Denise, check this out. Miss Shelley, I'm done. I've successfully separated oxygen from ribonucleic acid, making deoxyribonucleic acid. Well, that's fast, Denise. Well done. But that's not all, Miss Shelley. I have also created this special liquid formula, and it can make dead plants come back to life. Wow, Denise, that's groundbreaking. But I'm still not finished, Miss Shelley. This is an age reversal serum. Here, I'll show you how it works. Uh, um, maybe a... Uh... Miss Baden! Come here! Yes, what do you want? So, basically, one of my students is doing an experiment and I'd love to have you to help out. Ah, alright. Always happy to have the kids. <laughs> Here you go, Mr. Dan.
Terus saya papaya. Then it will only last a couple of hours. Ah! Well, Denise, that was very impressive, but also scary at the same time. I'm gonna continue working on it, and I'll perfect the formula. Uh, okay. So, how's your experiment come? Nothing. 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 Yeah, I'm still, I'm still thinking about it. You know, I'm, 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 I'm pretty. You say I'll come up with something great, right? I'm sure, I'm sure I'll come up with something great. I think I gotta come up with something better. Yeah. Take the box. Nicole! I'm pretty sure that fluid shouldn't be touching our skin. It might not be safe. Concentrated sulfuric acid could be really harmful to our skin. Well, let me ask you a question. Is any part of your body burning? Well, then it's fine. Oh damn it, my thermometer broke. Can you help me check if this is hot enough? How? Using your hand. What? Now tell me, were you the one who ruined my painting in art class? No! No, it wasn't me! Just tell me the truth! <laughs> okay, it was me! It was me! But I didn't mean it! That's all I wanted to hear. Go get another thermometer, please. Thanks. What are you making? M making? No, no, no. What I am doing is a multi-tiered distillation process involving the selective boiling of dihydrogen monoxide in an Erlenmeyer flask. And once the volatile liquid has been completely converted into a gaseous phase through an endothermic bond-breaking reaction, the vapor pressure should be sufficient to provide the activation energy for the subsequent devaporization of the gas back to the liquid phase, which I will collect here in this petri dish as the distillate of the reaction. Isn't dihydrogen monoxide just water? Oh, as I would like to call it, H2O. <laughs> I got H2O too. Cheers. Kevin, H2O2 is poisonous. Kevin, what do you say about drinking your chemicals? Okay, okay. Jeez. <laughs> hey, Maddy, that looks cool. Can I see? Sorry, Maddie. It's okay, Vincent. I think you should just sit down and not touch anything. No, no, no. It's my fault. Let me do it, okay? Let me help you out. Whoops. It's okay, Vincent. I think you should just sit down and not touch anything. Probably a good idea. Ah. Anyone smell bacon? Oh my god, Vincent, your hair's on fire. <laughs> Listen! Stop, drop and roll! Stop, drop and roll! Don't worry, I got you, man! Oh! Oh! What? It's not my fault. I thought it was water. Daddy, can I borrow your tongs? Julian. I'm trying to focus and I think you really shouldn't ask these kind of things in public. I mean, it's quite unsanitary to share that. I'll wash it when I'm done? Mm, fine. What are you working on anyway? I'm done. And what's that supposed to be? It's called Luminol. It glows in the dark and it sounds like Harry Potter, but it's real. But it's not glowing though. Well, we have to turn off the lights first. Okay! It's still not glowing. I guess I don't think I can make things glow. Maybe I should try something else instead. Hey Debbie, look at my family plant. His name is Plantric and he has been with us for years. I brought him here today because Denise said that she has been working on some serum that can make him stronger. Are you still ignoring me? It was cute last week but it's starting to affect me now. I can't concentrate. Look, if it's about two girls, I was just messing around, okay? I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. I won't be embarrassed about talking to you anymore. Do you want to sit together during lunch? 
So typical of guys. Yeah, they only start being sweet when they realise they'll lose us. Come on, Debbie. Don't ignore me anymore, okay? Ben, instead of worrying about me, why don't you worry about Plan Trick? Plan Trick? What happened to Plan Trick? Plan Trick? No! I'm so sorry. I forgot to tell you that you're only supposed to use a few drops. Ah, uh, this should be pretty simple. Let me just balance these two. Hmm. Ah, too little. Hmm. Ah, nah. Not about right. Hmm. Ah, no. Too little. Oh, ah, a little too much. Mm. No. Is this too much? Yeah, it's too much. Nah. It's, hmm. This should be okay. Damn it! It's still not balanced. Yeah, seems about right. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. It needs a bit more. <laughs> seems about right. Yeah. Maybe this one a bit more. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Yeah, more, more. I think it's time to mix them up together. Woo! <laughs> Kevin, you're only supposed to have five milliliters of sodium dial sulfate. Any more, and something can go very wrong. Come on, what's a little difference gonna make? <laughs> Plus, it's faster. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure smoke is supposed to come out of that thing? Come on, it's just a little smoke. It's not gonna hurt anyone. So, are you impressed? Well, I'm impressed nothing blew up yet. I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> hmm, is that easy? Did anyone see my eyebrows? <laughs> Hakim, why haven't you started on your experiment? What, what, what are you talking about, Miss Shirley? Uh, I'm almost done. Okay, then let me have a look. Where did it go? Good job, Cheryl. Everything's looking good. Don't forget to write observations, okay? Observations? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'll get started then. Miss Shirley, I'm done with my observations. Great! So why don't you share it with the whole class? Uh, I mean, okay, if you insist. So, based on what I've seen, Trev still wants to get back with Abby, but he's doing a really bad job at it, and Debbie is refusing to talk to Ben, which, you know, I don't think she really likes him anymore. Crazy, right? But then Denise chose Tian Hao over Vincent, like finally. But it's not all that bad because he has Maddie now. But again, I think he's really conflicted about it. So I'm not really sure where this is going, but my hypothesis is... Okay, Cheryl, you're supposed to be taking notes on a chemistry experiment and not your classmates. But they have good chemistry. And like, I haven't been here for a while, so it'll be nice to catch up on them. Then what about your experiment? Yeah, the water is wet. Vicky, that doesn't look like a chemistry setup to me. <laughs> Ouch! What, what's that for? You wanted Abby back, right? Make her drink this. Huh? Are you sure this is safe? What's even in this? You see, 
okay. Thank you, I guess. Mm. Uh, 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 Abby, are you, are you thirsty? I am. Thanks, Ref. Working with all that dihydrogen monoxide really makes me thirsty. You mean water? <sighs> what are you staring at? Are you okay, Wei Xiang? Why wouldn't I be? <laughs> I, I can't see! Pishi, where are my glasses, Pishi? Cheer, cheer, cheer. Get this out of my face. Why would I need that? Pishi! 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 Doctor and apologies. Are you okay, Wei Xiang? Sh should I call the doctor? I cannot go back to normal. I just want you to know that. I just no want you what? to know that. No, what? Why is everybody staring at me? Did I wet my pants again? It's just water, trust me, it's just water. Hi, Beijing. Forget it. What was in that drink, by the way? That was just vegetable juice. Then why is he acting like that? Placebo effect. Wow, Maddie, that's amazing! I saw this on YouTube! How'd you do it? It's nothing special. It's just a little bit of dishwashing liquid, and then an oxidizing agent like hydrogen peroxide, and reducing agent like potassium iodide, and I added a little bit of food colouring to make it colourful. Oh, Maddie, not only are you good at art, you're also good at science! <laughs> Can I touch it? Water is so boring. It's just wet. Ugh. What did you do what Maddie did? She created a masterpiece! Oh yeah, that does look kind of fun. Yeah, what she use? Some liquid and some potatoism something something. Uh, you mean potassium metal? Ah, potato, potato, potassium metal. <laughs> uh, I guess I could do that. I'll take this. Ow. That's not supposed to happen. Did you just add potassium metal into water? Yeah, just like what Maddie did. But I don't see any foam coming up. Maddie added potassium iodide, not potassium metal. Well then, lucky for me, I only put a little bit. I believe you're looking for this. Alright. Thanks, Larry. Hey, Chino! I found more potassium metal! Wait, no! Thank you.